Starting with the foot now, we're going to talk about quadratus plantae. Its origination point is going to be right off the calcaneus here, right around that calcaneal tubercle, which also shares an origination point with the plantar fascia. And right through here, that quadratus plantae is then going to insert along to the tendons of a flexor digitorum longus. And what they do is they provide sort of a counterbalance force when this tendon contracts. And that prevents the toes from drifting midline and gives you balance flexing force through the toes. If we continue on down the plantar fascia, we know it's right beneath my thumb here and it's going to terminate somewhere here at the pad of the foot, but there are going to be fascial connections that continue on down into the toes. And that's why applying a little bit of force here and just relax, let me put you all the way, good. Puts a lot of tension through that plantar fascia and that exposes it a little more for me to walk and right there I can feel it and walk my finger down. So. Pretty relevant pathology, it's uh, very common and it's definitely an area you want to assess and treat well so you get people moving again. So when we fully extend the toes and palpate through this plantar fascia, if we wanted to assess the quadratus plantae specifically, I'm going to push right into the muscle belly here and now I'm going to get you to contract your toes into my hand and you're going to feel it right there because it has a connection over to the tendons of the flexor digitorum longus and I can feel it right there contracting when we do this muscle test.